Hi guys, welcome to the Kitchen Time with Stella and Jenaway. In this video, I'll be showing you how to prepare carrot juice and carrot stew. Yes, you heard it very clearly, carrot stew. It's not a common kind of stew anyway. People don't really know about it and they're not so aware about the beans. The reason why the carrot stew idea came into picture was most of the time we we'll buy carrots and before we know it, our carrots are already soft and we don't have the ability to enjoy the opportunity to enjoy the crunchy taste of carrots. So we thought, what we'll be doing with it? Someone came to the house one day and they showed my mom and I was like, wow, perfect remedy out. So if you bought carrots and you want to enjoy the crunchy taste and then it gets soft because maybe you do it too much and you're not able to finish it, this is the best way out. You juice it up, which most of the time, it doesn't really have the juice anymore because it has lost water and crunch. So you don't really have to juice it up. You could just turn it into carrot stew. So I'm going to be showing you how to make carrot stew and how to make carrot juice with a simple little quantity of carrot. Now here I have my diced carrots. I have my onions. I have my um, maggi cubes. I have the goat meat stock, then uh, my spices, thyme, curry, salt, my cholesterol free oil, then this is tomato, we we'll still need tomato to give it that stewy taste, At, either you use a fresh one or you use the sachet one, I'm using the sachet one which is pepper and onion, tomato, pepper and onion, mm. then I have with me my garlic ginger paste. Mm. So um, um, we'll first So it's the chaff now that I'll be using to make my stew. I'll still use a little bit of carrot juice to add more flavor to it. So our carrot stew and carrot juice is ready for consumption. See how pretty, how cute, how delish the carrot stew looks and how juicy the carrot juice is. All this was extracted from one set of carrots. So whenever you're doing your carrot juice, just know that your shaft is still valuable. You can't, you don't have to throw it away, it has value because sometimes people just stare at you like, oh my god, this is pretty chaff. You don't have to throw it away, no, you don't have to throw it away. You can always use it for your carrot stew with a little bit of juice. I actually put too much water for my juice. So next time, if you have a smoothie blender, which is perfect for blending your stuff, you can always use that instead of the normal blender. So you can make the carrots smoother and then you don't have to need to use too much water. So that is it for now. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for subsequent DIY videos on how to prepare meals and so many other stuff. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to drop your comments for any extra question when need be. Mmm, such fantastic, such amazing. <laughs>